Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So for today we've got an update to part two, where uh, OP finished off by saying he would be doing a DNA test on all his kids. So let's get right on into it. New update. I updated my original cheating post about my wife. Well, it got better again. She has a second phone. Today my daughter somehow had it. My wife said she found it in a parking lot. Then she quickly grabbed it and said she threw it in the trash. I tried to go through it and she immediately pulled it out of my hands. I asked what she did with it. She said she threw it away. This was in front of my kids. And when she first took it, she went out and started talking to my friend we were picking up the kids from as if nothing happened to shut me up in public. I was sitting in the car with all my kids. It was an epic move and calculated. I pursue it. It makes a fight with the kids right in front of them. I pursue her. It's in public in front of her friend and she made sure I knew it. The kids were in the car and I tried not to make a scene but said we are getting that phone. She said she wasn't going through the trash. I said I'll get it. She wouldn't stop the car. Now in hindsight, she just put it in her pocket. She then said, as I persisted when we got home, finally, that she would go back and get it. I called her saying that wasn't okay. She said fine, meet her there. She got the phone out of the trash. When she did, she grabbed me and kissed me and kept pulling my face to look at her. Cheaters and liars do this for control. She had deleted most of the texts, but not some of the pictures. It was her phone. Ironically, she didn't delete the monthly sign-up for Straight Talk Wireless since April 20th. She even insisted it wasn't hers after I got it. She must have thought she deleted it all. She didn't. And she kept denying after I said, I see pictures of you at a house which isn't ours. She said, what pictures? She wanted to know what I knew. So the wife is still cheating. She refuses to admit it and said it was in case I used her phone but she had saved images from people she doesn't talk to on her other phone. This means it is to talk to other people I won't know about. She claims it's Amy from work and Colin, a gay guy. I was like, really? Why hide them? She's lying. She laughs it several times. She met up with me randomly out of nowhere, knowing where I would go for pizza and grabbed the phone and ran. Insane. So when we got home, we started fighting. She just wouldn't give up wouldn't admit it. She yelled more at me, as usual, and I asked why she gets to yell each time I say she is lying. Even if I were wrong, I get to think she is. But it all came to a head when she again grabbed me and tried to force me to hit her. I locked my hands behind my back and she just kept pulling at them to make my hands hit her, screaming, hit me, hit me. She then kept pushing me and on the couch and I kept saying, get off. I finally said I would call the cops and destroy her if I had to. She mocked me yelling out the door, help, my husband is going to destroy me, making a scene. She then called the cops herself. She actually said to them she just wanted advice and was playing games. They took a long time to get here as a result. Just before they did, she called me and said not to say the bad things she did, and she wouldn't for me. I said no, I'm telling the truth. So they got there and it was normal, and one talked to me and one my wife. The guy who talked to my wife came back saying he doesn't normally like to come out for advice, but he would give her a pamphlet and whatnot, and they were about ready to head out. However, then my guy updated him about what I said on the above. My wife thought they were close to leaving, and they were, so she was throwing out trash when they grabbed her again and walked her to the cop car. She was arrested. I could see the look on her face change. When she went from, I'm taking out the trash and they will be out of our hair soon, to, oh, shiz, they are coming back for me. My two older girls started nearly having panic attacks, and then they asked them to get me. They informed me she was going to jail. I don't know all the specifics. It was confusing. My wife had tried to call my bluff on the cops and called them herself. I warned her in advance, but she kept getting bolder, thinking I didn't and wouldn't stop her. I did. This will now be on her record. I didn't want this regardless. The kids are torn up and I don't want a divided family. Before idiots here say, remove the mom, it is not that simple even when violent. At this age, they will blame me. It will be years of trouble. And the studies that say kids are better off are what I call pseudoscience. I'm sorry, it is. Sometimes you have to use your head. 
Half that type of science, which my brother majored in, is shoddy at best. I outperform him with people nine times out of ten. This isn't ego, it is just fact. Even the brother openly admitted the big flaws with well-being, monitoring of a child, and how it is weighed. It is not, no matter what any of you say, good to have the mom arrested and kids removed from her, in almost any circumstances, unless they land you or your kids in the hospital. Pushing is not enough. I wanted the cops to just warn her, and I told them that. But apparently, in Washington State, they have strict laws. So my cheating wife is in jail. My kids are more torn up than I've ever seen them. And I get to simmer in that. And she has likely been cheating the whole time with this other phone. Just F my life. Yet another update. My wife has been released with a protection order. She talked with me before that and she admitted some things, but not all. This is a six month affair with the same guy, Ricardo. Who is not Ricardo? He's a guy named Joe. I have the burner phone now, the second one. She looked up gay porn on it and had a picture of my daughter, Lily, she sent to this guy. And all the signs point to her having had bedroom fun and getting pregnant with his kid. It takes a long time to explain how I know this, but I do. I don't want to write it all out. She is saying they always used condoms. That is a lie. She likely had threesomes with him since he is bi and that was what the gay porn was about. My wife is just a harlot. Her trial date is August. She's been losing it, telling everyone she hurts so bad not seeing me. I'm hurting for different reasons. Guys, I've got six kids, three ferrets, a dog, hamsters, and laundry now to do, on top of what I already did. This is utterly exhausting. Zoe's test results finally have an update. It said received and will process results to my email in two business days. I don't know if it counts the day I received it, so it will be Tuesday or Wednesday. I talked more with the potential dad, and I was right when I said it really sounded like he was contacting her mainly to see if he had a baby with her. He said he always suspected the kid was his. He said he always thought I would reach out, but finally decided to check himself. We were cordial. He said I was a nice guy and was sorry for what I was going through. I said I would do the right thing no matter what, and we would talk more about Zoe and what to do if she was his. At this point, I'm just too tired to update more. There was a lot more than this. My wife begged me to say I love you on the phone every time she called. She then went on to saying, I really, really miss you. Don't you miss me? At all? A little bit? She was crying, saying to lie and say I loved her. She was broken up. I did what my boss said to say after she said she was all alone and it was horrible. I said, why don't you see if Joe or one of the other men will be there, bail you out, or watch the kids while you were in there? She cried more. She said I was right. She didn't need a boy, she needed a man. The guy is really young. He's like young 20s. Her bail was set at a hundred thousand freaking dollars. It is probably because she made the mistake of saying she put a knife to her chest. The police asked me if she did, and I said yes. They said it was extremely concerning, and that they needed to think about the safety of the kids. She had a court date today in the morning. The judge said the protection order would stay in place five years or until lifted if I tried to remove it. She broke down. She is really torn up. I'm a little worried about her. Not that I want to reconcile. I've never heard her cry like this. I heard her in the background telling Amber who watches our kids. We can both contact her. Since she watches the kid, we just can't talk through her. And Amber was explaining what was going on since they didn't tell me yet. Every time I've called Amber, I can hear her breaking down crying at certain points in the call when she hears Amber say key things. She is telling everyone that when she isn't with me, she finally gets how alone she is with me not there. She doesn't care when the other men aren't there. It's me she cares about and wants to come home to. I think she had her wake-up call. We'll be living like this for at least 30 days. I'm only removing it so she can go home to take care of the kids. Amber will help her at home, and I'll be leaving. Amber coincidentally just filed divorce paperwork. This might be a sign from God. I know that sounds odd, but I talked to Amber, and she said she would move with Rebecca when her lease was up. That means I can get more or less free daycare. We will pay her to get a tax credit and have her pay toward the rent, which would be increased by about $700 per month. Including the credit, we would reduce the difference to only about $400 per month. This resolves all issues. I told Amber not to tell my wife I was considering this yet. I want her to have time on her own first. 30 days for it to sink in. When she then sees me, I'll tell her. It's really over, guys. Or is ending. 
It's been an unreal last five months. Even more updates. The paternity test results came back. I'm not Zoe's dad. She looks so much like me too. I can't post more. I'm too broken up. Wow, what a nightmare. Can you imagine what it must be like being in OP's position? I'll be honest, this was tough to read. Really hits you below the belt. So let us know what you think about this in the comments. Have you ever had anything similar happen to you, or worse? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories. Until next time.